I think I'm alone. So, this is good. I actually get to do a box day review solo without the kids. Love the kids. They do great work. But every once in a while, I think I need to do a box day by myself. And this is not even in a box, but I was really excited to get this guy. So joining us today, we have Mondo, the only, very only, one and only Mondo figure that I own. And here we go. We have the Jet Jaguar soft vinyl figure from Mondo. Very excited to get him out of the packaging here, take a look at him, and do this toy review. So, this is Nick Adam Poling. You're joining us on the Monster Report. Today is Box Day. All right, good to have you for Box Day. And like always, like, subscribe, comment. Leave, uh, you know, hit the notification bell and leave a nice comment down there. Let me know what you think of the show and this figure and uh, any questions you might have for me going forward. All that's out of the way. Of course, follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Just look, search for the Monster Report and uh, let's get into this figure. So Mondo Shop, they have what's called the Drop. Anytime that uh, they're going to have one of these figures that you can uh, get uh, on pre-order and then wait for it. This wasn't actually one that I had to wait terribly long for after I did the pre-order, but I was there at the very minute for the drop. And of course, you know, if it's Mondo, it's going to sell out in a couple of minutes. And that's always kind of been a problem, kind of a sore spot for us uh, G fans and well, you know, nerds in general. So we got our jet jaguar here and uh on the back it talks about the artwork designed by rocom and sculpted by tufan setzer painted by hector ars arc 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 arce don't know anyways thank you everyone there who was able to make this happen so let's get him out check him out see what he looks like because i am a huge jet jaguar fan Always love Godzilla vs. Megalon. I've always talked about how Godzilla vs. Megalon is one that I find a lot of rewatchability with. And so, with this figure, there is very little articulation that we have, but some. We've got the arms, they move, and he's got his closed fist for punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch! Punch, punch, punch! It does have the seam here for the waist, but. Oh, you kind of have to break it loose for it being the first time. And that is the extent to his articulation. Real big fan of the colors. They got it about as movie accurate as you can possibly get. I really wish the head would um, turn. I'm, I'm not going to force it, but it sure looks like the head is in that uh, kind of side angle approach there. Uh, I'm feeling like you should be able to move it, but it is real rigid there. So, boy, I'm just hoping I'm not gonna break this thing. But uh, I like to talk about quality control, and there is a ton of good quality control here. I don't see any paint spillage. I don't see any imperfections in the paint. I don't see any ridges or scuffs on this figure. They really take care of them very well. And, you know, looking at it, you know, even the bolts that go across there, just like in the movie. There's one thing I guess uh, it, you might say is about the scale of this figure, that its head is somewhat exaggerated compared to the rest of the body. Not quite obviously a defo reel, <laughs> it's not to that extent, but it's, it's definitely, you know, um, scaled differently. I've always thought, you know, this is kind of like a soft cushion on his arms there, all the way up to his gloves. So they captured that very well. Always thought the face in the song, the uh, MST3K version of the song, he's uh, he's got a face like Jack Nicholson with that grin that he has there. Uh, but overall, very pleased with this figure. I'm gonna compare this figure to other Jet Jaguar figures that we have here. So we'll start with the Playmates, which you can tell the colors on this almost look dirty compared to the bright, shiny colors 
of this figure. And so when you watch the movie, there is times when you see that the suit that Jet Jaguar is wearing is getting dirtier as he's, you know, scuffling with Megalon and Gigan and all that. So you do end up seeing him uh, more dulled. Uh, looking like this, but you know, maybe the one thing the Playmates has over this figure is that it is uh, more accurate to the scale of the movie because you know the head and the head and the arms and all of that. There is obviously more articulation in the Playmates, but being a more expensive figure, the quality control is a lot better on this figure. And, uh, you know, it just kind of depends on how you'd like to display him on the shelf. This one has that front stance kind of pose, which he is stuck in. And that's maybe a downside to this kind of figure. One other cool thing about this is always seeing at the bottom of the feet, um, whether it's a Playmates or a X Plus or whatever, you know, in this case it's Mondo. And uh, we'll show you some of the other Jet Jaguar figures that we have. Of course, there's the bottom of the foot Playmates figure. We have the Diamond Bank, so only real difference here uh, between that and the Playmates is this slot, which I don't know if anyone actually out there has these Diamond Bank figures. Do you actually use it as a bank? I never have, uh, but I guess that's part of what you can do with these figures. And uh, this Diamond Bank also has some articulation in the arms. And, uh, but that's it. He's also standing in that front stance position, which he is locked in. Um, but, you know, not bad. They're going to look pretty good together on the shelf uh, when we get the chance to get that office all put together and assembled. One other thing about the paint I'll point out is, of course, the blue shade that they use for the boots down there. This is a lot glossier, and I think it's a lot more close to the actual blue that you would see in the movie. But it also kind of depends on if you're seeing it in high definition or not. One thing about Megalon, I remember when seeing it as a kid, all I had was that VHS copy, and a lot of you probably did too, and it was a terrible picture quality. But we loved it anyways because we got lots of kaiju fighting action. And I'm saving this figure Lastly, because it's probably as close to the, I guess, representation of what this Jet Jaguar is trying to get. This is the Marmot figure that I think I found this figure actually from, uh, it was a, a store called Hastings that was a lot of uh, just nerd stuff. So it was movies, books, toys, comics, a little bit of everything and they had some of these figures that were coming out and so was able to pick up him before that store closed because it is no longer here any longer and so uh, some of the things about this figure in comparison they of course went with the blue eyes instead of the glowing kind of not literally glowing but you know like his eyes were lit up when he was looking around uh, when he was looking for Megalon when he had that the spotlights put on uh, they, they seem like they were kind of cut from the same mold. Maybe not literally, but in in the stance and the pose and all of that, there's there's a lot of similarities with this. Even in the scale of the head, how similar the head scale is to this one. Uh, of course, this one, the Marmot, is got the gray rather than the nice silver brushed kind of look that it has, which I, I really appreciate that about Mondo. Still will look good on the shelf regardless. Uh, when you look at the backs, there is no comparison. You have that nice red uh, streak, that racing stripe that is colored very perfectly, art, you know, uh, you know, accurate to the movie, um, to a T on the Mondo figure, whereas on the Marmot figure, they didn't even color that in. So it just looks like he's a cone head. Uh, from the SNL series, and I, I, you know, I remember this turquoise kind of look, which is nowhere near screen accurate, but, you know, like a Marmot figure would be, they're more stylized, so you're going to have that. In this one, uh, we have more of the blue representation, again, from the movie, but as far as the articulation between these two, they're pretty much identical. The both of them have that same kind of arm movements. Uh, the one thing that the Mondo, uh, sorry, the Marmot does have over 
the Mondo is leg articulation, uh, whereas this one pretty much is standing there. I'll uh, just kind of bring up one brief point about Mondo. They also did uh, do a release of Jet Jaguar, which was the medical version, and I guess I didn't have any attachment to that one, so that's why I did not pre-order that one, so I did not have that for review. And if you got it out there, that's great. You know, tell me what you think about it. But it, when it dropped, I was not too terribly interested in, in picking that one up. I really, really wanted this figure. So very happy I got him to be part of the collection. I definitely recommend this if Mondo does a re-release of it or if they have some leftovers uh, that they end up selling. Maybe it's possible. There's a lot of Mondo figures out there and a lot of them that I missed out on. So uh, if you get the chance to catch the drop, uh, definitely do that. Mondo's killing it with a lot of these figures and with their vinyl albums that uh, they're releasing too. So my good buddy Everett out there has uh, collected on some of these, uh, the vinyl figures from Mondo and from other places as well. So check out what they've got. Very pleased with this figure. I'm a big fan of Jet Jaguar, and uh, I, I definitely want to get some more of him in the collection. And when we get that office built, I'm going to do a tour of the collection room so you can see all the different figures from all the different Kaiju IP that's out there. And of course, He-Man and all that. We've got some great box days coming up for you as we go forward in the future here on the Monster Report Box Day. Thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe, comment, all those great things. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. And uh, just leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing out here. And share this out there for people so they can, so they can check it out. And we can just keep growing this channel if you're a part of this movement that we've got started here and it's going crazy here on the monster report so thank you for all your support and we will catch you next time thank you